so the swivel lock product family continues to grow. Um, this is by far the most popular suture anchor line in the world, most important anchor line that we have at Arthrex. And we continue to innovate, adding new materials, new sizes, new tip configurations, new suture options uh, to allow it to be used throughout the body. Uh, just in the past year in the United States, we implanted over 700,000 swivel locks across the body, whether it's for rotator cuff repair, or biceps tenodesis, instabilities, or uh, internal braces, Achilles tendon uh, repairs, just to name a few. And I, I still feel like we're just scratching the surface with, with where we're going to be able to go with this simple anchor. And some of the things that we like the most about this anchor family is the fact that it's cannulated and vented, uh, allowing for blood and bone marrow to flow through the anchor and allowing for bony ingrowth, as is shown here in this canine model and also in this humeral head explant at, at uh, 12 months post-operative. So one of the best applications for the swivel lock is with fiber tape and rotator cuff repair, whether single or double row. And what you're seeing here is a speed bridge construct where we're taking advantage of that fiber tape, 2.5 millimeters wide, excellent tendon compression onto the bone, excellent resistance to tissue pull through, 30% higher resistance to tissue pull through than a number two fiber wire, and just an excellent way to complete a double row rotator cuff repair. So one of the best parts of my job is being able to, to talk with you, our key opinion leaders, and listen to your thoughts, uh, get your questions, get your product requests, and then work with you to try to come up with solutions. So I'm going to use the rest of my time to address some of these uh, questions that we talk about quite often. So something like, do I need to tie medial knots uh, for my double row uh, cuff repairs? So Peter Millett is going to be talking to you about his strong preference for totally knotless speed bridge repairs here in this session. Uh, what can I tell you is that our SOS data supports knotless speed bridge. Uh, it shows that the outcomes are basically the same. Uh, no statistically significant differences between knotted and knotless techniques. But one thing that is dramatic is the time savings. 19 minutes in time savings. And for a typical surgeon who might be doing 125 double row cuff cases in a year, that 19 minutes can translate to 40 hours, which is a lot of time that can be used to add cases or add some free time for yourself. So I uh, ask you to consider this. <clears throat> Does a single row repair do a good job of reconstructing the footprint? So Chris Adams and I went into the lab and we uh, created a crescent-shaped cuff tear and we repaired it with a standard single row. Two corkscrews, four simple stitches placed in the middle of the footprint. And you can see here, when you take the arm into abduction and rotation, what you're left with is basically a big pasta lesion that you'd probably want to correct if it was an isolated, uh, an isolated incident. So we then went in and cut out that uh, single row repair, and in the same shoulder went back and replaced it with a, a speed bridge. And now what you can see is the speed bridge does a, a much better job of keeping that tendon down onto the footprint uh, with both internal um, rotation and abduction. So I definitely would prefer to have that repair in my shoulder. Getting on to some products. Can I have a double loaded swivel lock with tiger tail? So, We've had a double loaded swivel lock for some time and it's been loaded with a fiber wire CL suture, a coreless fiber wire. And some of our customers have liked that a lot, but we've got a lot of fiber wire, traditional fiber wire fans uh, uh, amongst you as well. So we wanted to come up with a double loaded swivel lock that uses number two fiber wire tiger tail. And the tiger tail sutures are unique in the sense that half of it is solid and half of it is striped. So if you're in a teaching institution, it's a wonderful tool for helping you uh, with your suture management with your fellows and your residents. The other thing that we've added, as you'll see here, is this orange suture release tab. So this will help hold the eyelet onto the driver a little bit better and also allow you to, to release those sutures without having to worry about trying to untangle them or untwist them off the back of the driver. Can I have a knotted cuff anchor with suture tape? So my first answer has to be, we are the market leader in rotator cuff repair, uh, and 70% of, of the anchors that we sell are knotless. This is data from 2016. So far in 2017, we're already trending up closer to 72, 73%. So we are strong believers in knotless anchors, but we hear you. You want a knotted cuff anchor with suture tape. So here it is. This is a 5.5 millimeter biocomposite corkscrew FT with suture tape. Uh, this has all the benefits of our standard 5.5 corkscrew with the suture eyelet, with the vents, with the excellent insertional torque and all, and is now available with the 
suture tape suture, which gives you that great handling characteristics, shorter knot stacks, stronger knots. And again, we encourage you to come out, uh, visit us at the booth, and play with the suture. Can I have an anchor with more vents and suture tape? So this is our new 4.75 millimeter corkscrew FT with suture tape. This is a massively vented anchor. It has vents on four sides uh, as opposed to just two. Uh, it still has a suture eyelet configuration with it. Uh, it is going to be available in peak first, and the biocomposite versions will be coming a little bit later this summer. It takes us a little bit more time with the FDA, with degradation studies and all, to get our biocomposite products out. So sometimes the peak ones come first. Can I have a smaller triple loaded corkscrew FT? So my first answer to that is also that the speed fix ripstop we believe is a better choice. So it's a knotless repair, a standard speed fix with an extra suture passed medial to the crossing part of the, uh, of the fiber tape and the speed fix, uh, leading to a ripstop configuration that's equivalent in strength to a triple loaded anchor, yet much quicker to do, much lower profile, and much more consistent. But we will give you an opportunity to have a 4.75 millimeter corkscrew FT, that same massively vented anchor body uh, that's going to be triple loaded with, um, with tiger tail. I like using soft anchors medially. Can I still do a speed bridge? So as Dr. Kane alluded to, we do have now the FiberTac DR. This, the DR stands for double row. And this anchor is intended for use as the medial row anchor of a uh, bridging rotator cuff repair construct. So the labral tape is fixed to the sheath. It's actually stitched to the sheath so it cannot slide. Just like your, your swivel lock with fiber tape in the medial row of a speed bridge construct. It also has a sliding number two tiger tail suture kind of like the eyelet stitch of a, of a swivel lock in the medial row that you can either incorporate into the repair or discard. This anchor is available now and to give you an idea of how it's used, this is a, a video that we created with uh, Dr. Larry Higgins who's going to be talking about the use of this anchor in subscap repair shortly. So the anchor inserts through a guide. We have both drill and punch options available for you. Again, we use that suture release tab that allows you to easily remove the drill guide and the inserter handle. Here you can see how that, that tiger tail suture can slide very easily in the anchor and be incorporated or discarded. Right now, the labral tape tails are not joined together and they don't have a uh, number two portion, so they have to be passed using a, uh, a fiber link suture uh, to help shuttle. So here you can see us using that fiber link to shuttle the, the labral tape through the cuff. We see a, a, a big tendency from our surgeons to want to use three anchors immediately here, and we have three different color combinations available to make that easy and convenient. You did have that fiber link that you used for shuttling, so we encourage you to incorporate it into your repair uh, to help proactively go after any dog ears that you might have. And from that point forward, it's just a standard insertion of a swivel lock for the lateral row, and you can wind up with a very, very nice knotless uh, double row construct using soft anchors if that's your preference. Could I have a bigger cuff version of the knotted fiber tack? Yes, you can. This is the fiber tack RC. The RC stands for rotator cuff. And this will come double and triple loaded with sliding suture tapes. This will be available uh, in time for Academy. Another big question has always been, what can I do for a young patient with an irreparable cuff tear and no arthritis? So the answer that we've come up with is superior capsular reconstruction with Arthroflex. And uh, this technique has, has really taken off for us. And basically all we're doing is taking an Arthroflex, a three millimeter Arthroflex, and connecting the superior glenoid to the, uh, to, the, to the greater tuberosity and trying to make sure that we can push that humeral head down, uh, minimizing any potential for, prox uh, for superior migration, recentering the head on the glenoid, and uh, giving you excellent pain relief and great mobility. And I'm not going to talk about this very much because we've got a very, very illustrious panel uh, that's going to address you in the SCR section of the program here. We'll have our own uh, Chris Adams talking about uh, the evolution of the technique. We're very honored to have Dr. Uh, Teru Mahata, who is the inventor of the technique. He's been doing it since 2007 using Fashalata Autograph in Japan. 
We've got Ty Lee and, and Gus Mazaka here to talk about uh, biomechanical test results. We've got Alan Hirahara, who was one of our, our initial developers and early adopters in the United States and helped us develop the technique. We've got Bill Pennington, who's probably the most prolific user, has done over 100 of them, and has used them in, co uh, in conjunction with uh, hemiarthroplasties. Dr. Burkhardt's going to talk to us about uh, his brass group study results and share some pearls. And we have Peter Millett, too, who will uh, monitor what, what will be a great uh, panel discussion, I'm sure. So what can I tell you as a product manager about Arthroflex? Well, since 2014, we've done about 6,000 cases with that 3-millimeter Arthroflex SCR graft. The graft is strong. It's sterile. 97% of the DNA has been removed from it. It's very convenient in that it has an ambient storage with a three-year shelf life. It could be ready for any case when you need it. It's hydrated and ready to use. We've had very, very widespread acceptance of this technique. And I'm kind of curious, even by a show of hands, of how many of you have performed an SCR in your practices? And that's just about everybody. That's, that's really amazing. <clears throat> And the implants and the instruments are continuing to evolve as we try to make the technique easier and better. And one of the big questions that comes up is, can you please make it easier to measure? Yes, we can. So we've got a new SCR guide that's just been released in the last week. Uh, and the way this works is it takes advantage of the sutures in the anchors. So you use the, uh, the SCR guide to retrieve the sutures. You grasp the sutures, slide down to the anchor, look at the uh, scale on the back of the shaft, make a mark on the sutures, and then just drag the suture over to the next anchor. So it's very nice to use around a curve and then just look and see how, how, how far that ink mark has moved. Here's an example where we're using the, the tuberosity anchors, and instead of making an ink mark, we're using a hemostat, which is even easier. Now we drag the sutures over to the next anchor, and on the outside, we just take a look and see how far that hemostat has moved. So we're right at 35 millimeters. So this will be very good for, for quick and very accurate measurements for our SCRs. <clears throat> 